This video will be taking a look at a comparison between DirectX 9 Legacy RV rendering and DirectX 11 Infusion rendering within the current internal DAISY development build. Now keep in mind the video you're seeing is in a odd non-standard resolution because the capture is coming directly from an internal development client not ready for experimental or stable branch. The example in this video will be between DirectX 9 Real Virtuality Legacy Rendering Technology and DirectX 11 Work in Progress Infusion Technology. In upcoming status reports, we'll be talking about performance-related improvements. This video should serve as a visual reference to the current status as well as comparison against DirectX 9 Legacy Rendering Technology. Here on the main menu, you see an unskinned early technical prototype of functionality for the main menu changes with the new UI. Statistics that you see above are per character and tracked on the central daisy hive. And stay tuned after the video if you'd like to see me running around in a rainstorm in Electro ringing a dinner bell. As I'm sure a lot of people have noticed, a lot of the images, video, and references coming out in relation to the DirectX 11 renderer over the last few weeks has featured a good amount of rain. And that's specifically because, as mentioned in the status report, the engine programming team is working on the SimilWeather and TrueSky implementation into the DirectX 11 renderer. At the build we're looking at right now, one of the bugs we ha the team has to deal with when they get back into work on Monday is the fact that the server is perpetually raining. However, I found this is a good example between the stark contrast between the DirectX 9 existing client and the DirectX 11 early implementation. There are plenty of bugs that the engine team are still working on, as well as optimization passes that need to be done before we even consider running an experimental build. It is worth noting that while both the old DirectX 9 client and the work in progress and fusion client that you see uh, featured in this video both received a hit on performance while recording locally on the same machine that's playing. The work in progress and fusion client, however, had a marked performance increase in the way of 30 to 40 percent over the legacy client. Now I know a lot of people are going to get excited as we start to talk about implementing the Infusion Engine's renderer into DayZ, myself included, but I think it's important that we all keep our expectations tempered. This is, after all, work in progress software in development. When it hits the experimental branch, we are going to see plenty of bugs, plenty of issues, and the best way that we can all participate in knocking these out as soon as possible is to use the feedback tracker, submit data on your bugs, let the developers know when you encounter a problem. Again, this is a very early work in progress implementation of the Infusion Engine's rendering technology. As we mentioned before, our goal for the initial implementation was a one-to-one -one visual parity with how Daisy looked prior. As we begin to iterate upon this early work in progress version of Infusion's rendering technology, and move past the goal of one-to-one -one visual parity with Daisy's legacy rendering technology, we can look forward to extensive bug fixing, optimization passes, new particle effects, and improved lighting. Moving towards our beta goal, we'd like to utilize our YouTube channel a little bit more. So if you have any ideas, questions, or comments on the type of stuff you'd like to see on the Daisy Dev YouTube channel, please send us a tweet over at, at Daisy Dev Team, the official Daisy Dev Team Twitter. Thanks for taking a look, guys, and we hope to see you next time. No, 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 this is unfortunate, this is unfortunate. Oh, 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 two minutes, two minutes, two minutes. That's not
creepy at all. Is that a chicken? There's a chicken. There's a chicken. Oh, shit. Where is it? Where is it? It's good. It's a bit easier with blackout. Come on upstairs. Let's see what we can see. 